Hi beautiful Scorpios, Sun, Moon, or Venus, and welcome to your love reading. This is the Dream Medium. Welcome to my channel. So Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Venus, we're going to be looking into your love life to see what is going on between you and your love interest, all right? So let me just go ahead and shuffle the cards. What's going on in Scorpio's love life? What's going on between Scorpio and their love interest? Right, so you have the King of Wands that came out. What's going on between Scorpio and their love interest? All right, Nine of Wands. Hmm. What's going on between Scorpio and their love interest? Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. Have the Five of Cups, Three of Pentacles. This person is, this is all of their energy. I'm sitting here like, okay, when's Scorpio gonna pop up? Let's see. Knight of Wands. going on between Scorpio and their love interest Scorpio this person is in their feelings about you oh my god they're in their feelings they are in their feelings about you big time High Priestess, yeah. High Priestess. This is actually your sign, Scorpio. Um, represented by the High Priestess. You guys are very intuitive, natural psychics. Um, this is someone who's very insightful. But we'll see if it is your specific, if this High Priestess is being um, represented by you or is it your person? Because your person is in their head as well, all right? So you have the King of Wands, Nine of Wands, Five of Cups, Three of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, and the High Priestess. Let's see. Clarify the, the King of Wands. Judgment. Yeah, Queen of Cups. Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. Strength. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. Seven of Swords. I knew it. Page of Pentacles. This is a third party situation that's going on. But Scorpio, we're going to get to the bottom of this, all right? So don't jump to conclusions yet, all right? Um, you have the King of Wands. This is your person who is standing their ground very firm this is someone who is or can be very defensive um quite uneasy is what i'm picking up their energy from this king of wands now i want to bring something to your attention right because in clarity of the king of wands the judgment came out this is a final decision that must be made your person Your person is trying to make a final decision about this third party situation here. I do feel like your person, Scorpio, for those of you where they have been distant, it is only because they're trying to figure out the situation on their own without any he said, she said, 
situation. They want to get to the bottom of this. They are the king of wands. Trust me, they will get to the bottom of this. Now, in clarity of the king of wands, you do have the queen of pentacles and the queen of cups. Scorpio, these are two different women here. All right, two different energies. You are the queen of pentacles. The other feminine energy is the queen of cups. All right, what in the world is going on here, Scorpio? It's clear as day that this queen of cups, because I clarified this queen of cups, I was like, what's going on? Who is this queen of cups? And look, seven of swords, someone who has done something very, very sneaky between you and your person. I feel like this individual has deceived both you and your person. This is someone who has done something sneaky and they're getting away with it big time. But don't worry because your person is the king of wands. They have their guards up as well. I feel like your person has their guards up when it comes to the both of you, but at least they're trying to get to the bottom of this to see who to believe and who to disbelieve. Okay. This queen of cups here, very, very smart, very, very deceitful, very, very tricky, very sneaky, okay? The Seven of Swords came out to clarify her, to clarify this Queen of Cups. I do feel like with this Queen of Cups, this other woman here, this other feminine energy here is interested in your person. I feel like, I feel like your person was never really interested in her though. So of course, she put herself in a friend zone situation but still try to, you know, block the two of you from getting together because she felt like you were in the way. It's so clear. I already know how this is going to go. Clear as day. I even spot the three of pentacles over here, which is my big third party card. This queen of cups is very, very deceitful, big time. And we're going to expose them. In clarity of the King of Wands, you have the strength, or let's talk about the Queen of Pentacles because the strength came out last. With the Queen of Pentacles, this is you, Scorpio, very much in your power. Um, this, this person views you as their Queen of Pentacles, so you are the Queen of Abundance, all right? You are far above this messy situation here that this third party has caused. They see your worth. They want, I mean, think about it. Who would you choose? I always tell people the biggest difference between a cup and a pentacle, not to say cups are not worthy, right? Not to say that cups are valuable, but pentacles are the most valuable things in tarot because pentacles represents abundance. When a person is offering you a cup, you don't see, you cannot see what is what is inside of the cup. But when it, it could be an empty cup that looks fancy from the outside, but they're giving it to you and you're going to probably, you know, be naive and take it. It could be something valuable, but it's not guaranteed that it is valuable because you can't see what's on the inside, right? versus when someone gives you a pentacle where you can actually see what it is you see that it's a commitment you see that it's stability it's abundance who would you choose of course you would choose the queen of pentacles right um and I feel like that's exactly what's going on here, where this Queen of Cups is pretending to be something that she is not. She has a cup in her hand. It's almost like the Queen of Cups, it's like is the Queen of Cups in this situation, in your particular spread with what this woman is doing, she is like the counterfeit of you, Scorpio. She's trying to give what you are able to give, but it's the counterfeit, okay? Um, she's presenting herself to be a queen because I, this is getting kind of weird Scorpio, because I feel like this individual here has been imitating you. Everything that she, that she's, everything that she is right now is, is what she has learned and stolen from you. She has picked up on your habits, your personality. Um, this is a copycat version of you like it's kind of making me feel uncomfortable um this person here just very very deceitful wearing a mask trying to be you okay and even what she is pre presenting to your person is not the truth she is trying to make your person feel as if she cares about your person 
as if she's trustworthy, she wants what's best for your person, but no, it is just to, to compete with you. This is kind of making me, I typically wouldn't interpret the cards this way, but that is what my intuition is telling me. So your person is confused. You have the strength here. They do have the strength to go through the situation, to endure the situation, and I feel like they will see the truth. Next, you have the Nine of Wands. Page of Wands. Ace of Swords. Nine of Cups. On the back, Three of Wands. All right. So the Nine of Wands, this is an individual who is not doing well. All right. I feel like this is... I feel like this is your person. I feel like your person is very disappointed in themselves to have allowed this situation to escalate to get to this extreme point where this individual is trying to imitate you your person is aware of that okay it is being seen of how delusional and psychotic this person is all right you do have the nine of wands here. I feel like this is disappointment that they have within themselves. I feel like this person's world has really been turned upside down because of this third party. In clarity of the nine of wands here, you have the knight of cups, all right? This is what they want to do, come forward and to give you an offer. They also want to give you clarity here with the ace of swords that will put your mind at rest, okay? But you have the page of wands. They are not in a position to communicate with you right now. Too much is going on. All right? It's like, it's it's almost like they're tongue-tied with this page of wands. They're not able to get out what it is that is going on. They're not. It's that deep. All right? It is that deep. But on the back of the deck, you have the three of wands. All right? They are missing you. They are watching you from a distance and holding on to you. Clarify the Five of Cups. Four of Cups. Hmm. So the Five of Cups is regrets. This person is basically this individual that you're dealing with Scorpio they know that they messed up they know that they messed up big time they know that you know they've messed up in the past and you forgave them or you kept on connecting with them but they feel like this situation is extreme to the point where they have most likely lost you okay with the five of cups here regrets crying over spilled milk knowing that they were the reason as to why this chaos is even occurring in clarity of the five of cups you have the seven of pentacles they are trying to fix it they are they're putting in a lot of investment a lot of work to fix it but can it really be fixed the situation because I feel like in a way, this situation that was pretty much caused by them, all right, I don't want I I to put 100% of the blame on them, but they had a hand in it. They're not 100% innocent. This situation here has caused you trauma and heartbreak as well. So they know that this is just your breaking point. In clarity of the five of cups, you have the nine of swords. They're in their head. They're thinking about you obsessively. This person here is hurting because they hurt you with the Nine of Swords. They're taking the blame with the Nine of Swords. Um, this is literally sleepless nights that this individual is having with the Nine of Swords because they are so horrified at what they have caused. All right. Three of Pentacles. Um, I actually, before we move on to the Three of Pentacles, on the back of the deck, the Four of Cups came out. They know that you're going to reject them because of this. They know it. They know it. Three of Pentacles, my big third party card, 
This is an outsider, the third party, that has really made it a 24-7 job. Not even a 9-to-5, but a 24-7 job to in instigate the two of you. You see how this third party is standing on a stool pointing a flashlight? This person is obsessed, big time. I knew it. I was getting this like really odd feeling from this third party. I was like, something's not right with them like emotionally something's off this individual has been obs obsessing over you and your person and for some of you this individual could be mutually connected to the two of you this is crazy clarify the three of pentacles ten of pentacles oh jealousy oh yeah yeah, six of pentacles. This is jealousy. Big time. Big time. Why? Why did they do it? Why have they been obsessing? Why did they plot on you guys like this? Why? Okay, I'm going to tell you why. Jealousy and envy. The ten of pentacles came out. This person looked at you, Scorpio, and your love interest and saw the overwhelming amount of abundance between the two of you they saw how much in love your person was with you and how much in love you were with your person and it made them envious it made them want what you have so much to the point where they genuinely felt like your life should be theirs all right let me repeat what you have with your person they feel like they should be the one who has it. This is... This is an extreme situation. Scorpio, please be careful with this individual. Please keep your distance. This is not a matter of Oh, I'm going to confront them. I'm going to do this and this to them. No, this person is not mentally stable at all. Keep your distance, please. Wheel of Fortune, they are the karmic. They are the karmic. And your person has realized that. But because your person is trying to leave them, it's causing this third party to become even more crazy, even more psychotic. All right. Six of Pentacles. They were upset that it's like this person feels like life is unfair. Why are you, Scorpio, always getting the good things? Why not them? Why? You see how this individual is holding a scale in his hands? From your person's perspective, it's like, why is Scorpio always getting what I want? And I never get anything. Even the fact that the Six of Pentacles is being paired with the Wheel of Fortune, this individual feels like you are are just good luck. You have more luck than they do. You're always at the top. Always. It could even be something as superficial as your looks. Why is Scorpio better looking? Why is Scorpio have more money than me? Why is Scorpio have this, this um, guy or this woman? Why, why, why? Life is so unfair. I should have Scorpio's life. It's getting to a point of envy. On the back of the deck. I'm not making this up. On the back of the deck, look what came out. Nine of pentacles. So many pentacles. This person is jealous of what you have. They see you as the nine of pentacles and they want it. They want what you have, whether that's your financial stability, your career, what you have materialistically. And because they couldn't get it, now they're trying to get your person. Clarify the Knight of Wands. Ten of Wands. 
the lovers. It's stressing your person out. It's stressing your person out on the back. Look, three of cups. Scorpio, please be careful with this person. Do not go in proximity of this person, please. You have the Knight of Wands. Your person is trying to fix this. They're trying to fix it before you find out. But you have already found out because you're the high priestess. You know what's going on. As much as they're trying to get the situation under control, they're not able to. They're not able to. You have them here being the Knight of Wands. This is the passion and determination that they have, the urgency that they have to get this person under control. But it's not working, all right? It's actually causing them more stress with the Ten of Wands. They're not able to handle this on their own. They're going to have to spill it to you. They've been trying to hide it with the Ten of Wands, but it's causing them more stress and burden. Here you have the lovers. You are their soulmate. And that is why they want to fix the situation without you knowing because they don't want you to leave them if you do find out about this. Then you have the Eight of Wands. It's happening really quick. It's out of their control it's out of their control even here five of wands this third party is out of control the five of wands is commotion that they're causing between you and your person right now i feel like you are out of out of the drama but you know what's happening with the high priestess the drama is pertaining to you, but you're not directly in it, if that makes sense. On the back of the deck, look, three of cups, two of swords. They're conflicted. They're confused. They don't know what decisions to take that will get rid of this person. They have simply caused a third party situation where this third party is obsessed. Wow. As the reader, I'm so scared for you guys. I want to see what like what kind of relationship was this between the third party and your person? So you do have the four of wands here. They want a commitment with your person. You have the emperor. What kind of connection was this? Oh, wow. Have the moon. On the back, Justice Tower. Oh my gosh. I feel like for some of you, of course, it's going to vary because this is general. I feel like for some of you, this could have been a romantic, someone who is romantically involved with your person for some of you. Um, but to be honest, for the majority of you, Scorpio, I feel like it, this person was not romantic at all. I feel like they wanted to be, they, I feel like that there, that, that was their goal to be romantic with your person because the four of wands came out. That was their goal, but they could not get there because you were in the picture so a lot of them kind of chose to just be friends um, 
but then things just got out of hand. This is insane. The moon came out. The moon is what's telling me that I don't feel like your person even knew that this third party was interested in them romantically either. I think it's now being revealed to them due to how they're acting. You even have the emperor here. The em oof, this emperor is not having it either. Your person, they're the emperor. Earlier they came out as a king of wands. They're not having it with this individual. So I really feel like for the majority of you, they were never even interested in this third party romantically. This third party could have just been a friend. Six of Swords. As I look into the Six of Swords, I'm not going to lie. As I look into the Six of Swords, I kind of feel... Let me double check this. Clarify the Six of Swords. I was seeing something here. Yeah, Page of Cups, Six of Cups. I feel like this individual was rejected. I do with the Six of Swords. I feel like they offered, they gave your person an option to be more than friends, but I feel like they were rejected. I do. And that made them kind of like get really crazy and put the blame on you. This is crazy. This is like a Lifetime movie. <laughs> it really is. It's like a, a drama movie. King of Pentacles. This is your person here keeping their pentacles just for you, but rejecting this person and friend zoning them. That is what it is. Then you have the Seven of Wands and you have the Four of Swords. Your person's stuck. They don't know how to get this person under control. The tower, yeah, tower and justice came out. Mm -hmm. That's what's going on. Basically, it was a surprise to them as well at how crazy and psychotic this person is. They didn't know this person was plotting this all along either. Oh my gosh. Tell me about the justice. They want to come in and, and clear the air with you. They want to clear their name. They do. They want to clear their name, but it's like, how do they? Because you, from your point of view, you feel like he's or your person's guilty as well. And I don't blame you. You have the Ten of Cups. They want growth, progression. You are their wish fulfillment. They do want a future, but it's like with the justice here, they feel like they need to prove to you, prove this to you because they're looking really guilty as well. You have the High Priestess. Death. Yeah, you know, the thing is, as much as they're trying to keep this, like, hidden from you, you know. You know. You're the high priestess. This is literally your sign, sign of Scorpio. You know. You know. And then King of Swords. Wow. Wow. I feel like this King of Swords is them being very upset at how freaking smart you are. Like this King of Swords is upset that you are always knowing things, you know? And I feel like this person may have gotten defensive or made you feel like you were in the wrong, but it was just to kind of blind you from what, what's going on, you know? They don't want you to find out. This King of Swords does not want you to be this intuitive high priestess. In Clarity of the High Priestess, you have the death here. Yeah, this is you pretty much getting your stuff and leaving, you know, you're leaving the situation behind because it's too toxic and draining for you with the devil here because you are upset that this individual has really created this toxic obsession and bond with this third party. That's why you're so upset. Bingo. You are aware that your person is sort of in a karmic situation, karmic connection with this crazy cycle third party pretty much. All right, Scorpio, um, 
this is a lot to deal with. I know it is, but please be kind to yourself, be understanding to yourself, and just watch the situation unfold. Keep your distance, absolutely keep your distance from these people in the meantime, all right? So thank you so much. Please remember it's general, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. You're welcome to get a private reading with me by visiting my website. The link is in the description box. Also, please like, comment, and subscribe to support my channel. Thank you so much. You guys, please be safe out there and you have a great day.